Hi everyone, it's Graham again and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with another book unboxing and it's a special edition My Chronicle book box. The previous one that I got was The Lighthouse Witches by CJ Cook. Now I absolutely adored this book um, and when I found out that this was going to be a special edition My Chronicle book box book, I had to have it. Um, there was just no two ways about it. I had to have it and as soon as I got it, I started reading it and I fell in love with it. Um, this is an incredible, incredible book. Um, it tells the story of a young family who um, they, they go to a lighthouse uh, in Scotland where their mother has been, um, she's been asked to paint a mural inside a lighthouse and things happen. They, some of them disappear and there's there's witchiness and there's folklore and history and it's just incredible. It's so dark, it's so incredibly well written and I'm so excited for what we're about to unbox. But this was the previous um, special edition My Chronicle Book Box book that I purchased. And the next one is in here. So as always, I have not peeked. I do know what the book is, but without much further ado, let's dive in. So I haven't opened this um, and the first thing I see when I open it is a note on the top and it says, Dear Graham, thank you for your con continued custom and support. I hope you love the, the name of the book and the bookish gifts. All best, Louise. And that's on a, a postcard that has the design that's on the um, the My Chronicle book box boxes, but not this one because this is the special edition. Um, it's just a lovely sort of royal blue colour, but yeah, that's really cool. I like that. It's very personal. Um, but without much further ado, let's just tear in. So again, the first thing we come to is one of these things and we know the dogs don't like these because I have a habit of popping them and my dogs hate loud noises. So I will pop that aside and bin it when I have finished filming. Um, okay, so let's have a look. So the first thing that I'm seeing is this gorgeous bookmark. I'm becoming a bit of a, a bookmark lover, um, almost as much as I love books. This says the same thing on both sides and it is reading is dreaming with your eyes open. And I think that's lovely. Um, and I have used these My Chronicle book, uh, My Chronicle book box bookmarks um, in many of the books that I've read over the last however long it's been since I've been getting the My Chronicle book boxes. Um, but yeah, I will put that to good use. Pop it aside just now. So the next thing that I'm seeing is a really lovely um, art print and I love this so much. It's a pile of books with like flowers and vines and a pair of glasses on top and it says my book club solves crime and I mean I just love that um, for a crime themed book box it's a perfect addition to to the box it's brilliant so the next thing that I'm seeing is a tea towel <laughs> okay a tea towel that's um that's quite something so it says it's 100% organic cotton satin uh, it's 47 centimetres by 70 centimetres and the packaging looks like that. I won't unpack this because, um, yeah, I don't want to, <laughs> but the design on it is there and that's lovely. That's really cute and it feels nice as well. It's very soft. I'm not sure how absorbent it's going to be, but we shall see. Um, I probably will use this. And this is by um, House of Hop Stock up there. Um, but again, we'll probably find out. There'll be a spoiler card, I'm sure. So we'll pop that aside and we'll pop on to the next thing. Okay, so, ah, there's a wooden block. And I think that is for that. So it's like a standee. So there we go. Yeah, we'll pop that aside and on to the next thing. There is a bar of soap. And this is um, the cinnamon and ginger. And this is infused with repurposed chai spices. 
Um, there was a bar of this soap in a previous uh, My Chronicle book box, I think about maybe two or three months ago, and we've almost finished it. We have it in our downstairs bathroom, and it just is the most gorgeous soap. It's lovely, it smells incredible, it's a nice lather, and it's 100% natural, and it's vegan. So I'm so happy we have another bar of this. I'm sure you could probably buy this online, but yeah, it is um, palm oil free, 100% natural, vegan, it's called Up Circle Face and Body Soap Bar, infused with repurposed chai spices, and it's cinnamon and ginger. Um, gen gently exfoliating natural soap to purify and energize face and body. And it's just beautiful. I wish you could smell how incredible this is because it's lovely. But we'll pop that aside and then we'll have a look at the next thing that I'm seeing which is a coaster set. Now I love coaster sets. So this is bookish themed and that's the packaging and that's what it looks like on the back. Um, inside we have four coasters and I wonder if they're all the same design. Let's see if I can, if my fingernails are sharp enough. Yep, they are. Let's just rip in. So I can feel already that they're they're cork, they're made of cork, and they have like a sort of laminated surface on them. Um, they aren't all the same. They are all different. So on this one we have um so the tiger who came to who came to tea. We also have uh Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. And we have The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I love it. And then on the back it says U Studio. Um, so let's have a look at this one. We have The Testament of Youth. We have conf um, The Confessions of Jean-Jacques Rousseau. And we have uh, Dashiell Hammett's Red Harvest and Dune by Frank Herbert. So that's this one here. And then number three we have um, the Lost Diaries of Adrian Moe by Sue Townsend, Catch-22 by Joseph Heller, Atonement by Ian McEwan, on that one. And then on the fourth one, we have To Kill a Mockingbird, The Lord of the Rings, um, and Roald Dahl's Easy O Trot, Sylvia Plath, The Bell Jar, amongst others. And I'm so happy. I love a coaster set, and especially when it's bookish themed. Um, I'll put these back into the box, and we shall move on to the next thing which i think yes is the book and oh my goodness this book is wrapped up in the most gorgeous paper um there isn't a spoiler card so we don't we don't have that and um, unless it's wrapped up with the book but i'll pop the box aside let's check under the paper yeah no spoiler card there um but the um, the wrapping paper is the same sort of design as the uh, coaster set, which I'm so excited for. I'm going to try not to rip this paper because uh, I'm just going to try my best um, <laughs> because it's cute and I think I may find a use for it. But we'll take the string off and I'll try and be as careful as I can. Um, I might have to rip it. Oh no. Oh, okay, so it's only ripped it a tiny little bit. That's good. Um, we'll take this sticker off as well. Um, and absolutely no rippage there. That's very good. Rippage. Is that a good word? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, unwrap. I absolutely adore this wrapping paper. And it's so well wrapped. I need, whoever wraps this, I need to, I need some advice on how to wrap gifts because I'm shockingly bad. But yeah, so we have the gorgeous wrapping paper, which I'm going to keep and I will use for some, for some thing. I don't know what, but I will use that. That is so, so cute. I'll pop that down with the box and here is the book. So it's The Perfect Crime and it's edited by Vasim Khan and Maxim Jaku Bowski, Jakubowski. And it's 22 crime stories from diverse cultures around the world. And the front cover looks like that. The spine and then the back cover is beautiful. So we have authors like Vasim Khan, uh, Sulari Gentil, 
um, Oyank and Braithwaite. Um, who else? Do I recognise any of these names? Um, no. Uh, Amar Anwar, Sanjida K, John Vercher, Rachel Housel Hall, Abir Mukher Mukherjee, um, Sheena Kamal, S. A. Crosby, Sylvia Marino Garcia. I recognise that name. Um, I must say. But yes, let's have a look at the inside. So the end papers are this gorgeous sort of deep red, like blood red colour. And I wonder, is it signed? No, it's not signed. Um, but the stop, some of the stories are uh, Death in Jar Darjeeling by Vasim Khan. We have The Mayor of Duke's City by S.A. Crosby. Um, for Marge by J.P. Pomari, um, Solari Gentiles, uh, A Murder of Brides, okay, Paradise Lost by Abir Mukherjee, uh, Sanjida Kay's The Beautiful Game, uh, and A Quiet Night In by Amor Anwar. And this is the first edition. Is there anything underneath? There is not, but let's read what this is about. A Deadly Affair Unravels in Lagos. In the Caribbean, a jaded jewel thief plots his next scam. A teacher dies in mysterious circumstances in 1950s Darjeeling. In Los Angeles, killer, sorry, a Los Angeles killer stalks Snapchat. An ex-cop takes on a smoking gun case in the Canadian prairies. Human traffickers crash a road trip in Washington state. On a New Zealand sheep farm, revenge proves thicker than blood. 1920s New South Wales is the setting for a series of bride murders. In Long Island, an aspiring rapper discovers all that glitters is rarely gold. A heartbreaking Catch-22 unfolds in Omaha. Bootleg hooch sparks a war on the Rosebud Reservation. A serial killer adds to his collection in Peckham. A masseuse mysteriously falls to her death in Queens. Two gangsters uncover a dark deed in Hounslow. Macabre secrets haunt a house in 1940s Mexico City. A husband's con goes badly wrong in London. In Santa Monica, a feeling machine is invented. A footballer's girlfriend, a footballer's girlfriends disappear in Manchester. A plague of mysterious visitors arrives at Sandhurst. An art restorer is stalked in Toronto. A cold case corpse surfaces in Folkestone. A nightclub bouncer sets out for revenge in rural America. 22 best-selling crime writers from diverse cultures come together from across the world in a razor-sharp and deliciously sinister collection of crime stories. Now, I cannot wait to dive into this. Um, traditionally, I'm not very good with short stories. I do prefer longer um like novels, um, but short stories in of the crime variety um, and in the crime genre, I'm so there for. And when the book is this gorgeous, yeah, I'm there for it even more. Um, I'm really, really excited. And I love how on the back cover, there's like implements of murder. So there's a knife and there's the gun. Um, and then there's like a fingerprint and there's uh handcuffs and like all the, the sort of the stamps of places that are mentioned in the stories and it's the same on the front but yes I am so so excited I, I'm, I love all the things that have come in this uh, special edition um, box and especially especially other than the book especially the coaster set because I will use that and that is just fabulous it's it's kind of it's very much my style and I love it um, and also <laughs> the wrapping. <laughs> I was very happy with that too. I will find a use for this. Um, wouldn't this make incredible wallpaper? I think so. Um, yeah, I'm there for that. But yeah, before I go on any more of a tangent, I will say thank you so much for watching. Whatever you're doing, I hope you have so much fun doing it. Whatever you're reading, I hope you love it. Stay fabulous, be amazing, be yourself, stay safe. And I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye-bye.